Good morning. How is everybody doing? Today we are going to talk about a problem in GRE quant preparation, and it's a geometry problem in equilateral triangle. And I'll share my screen with you. What is the area of an equilateral triangle whose inscribed circle has radius two? So I show you the picture of an equilateral triangle. Each, uh, each side is equal to A and inscribed inside it is a circle whose radius is two. So from the uh, center of the circle, I draw a perpendicular line to the base. Therefore, the height of this equilateral triangle by joining the uh, one uh, from the center to the one of the vertices of the triangle. Uh, its altitude is two or height is two and its base is A over two, half of A. Okay, also notice the angle at its vertex on the right corner is half of 60 degree, which is 30 degree. Hence, tangent of 30 degree, which is one over square root of three is equal to opposite side, which is two, the height or the altitude, divided by the base, which is A over two, or one over square root of three is four over A. Now, if we do cross multiplication, a times one, that is a is equal to four square root of three. Hence, each side of the equilateral triangle is four square root of three. Now, what is the height or the altitude of this equilateral triangle? That uh, if we indicate by h, then tangent of 60 degree is h opposite side divided by base, which is two square root of three. So now if we do cross multiplication, then two square root of three times square root of three is equal to H, which is equal to two multiplied by square root of three times square root of three is square root of nine, which is three. So two multiplied by three is six. So the height of the equilateral triangle or altitude is six and its base, the each length of each side as we determined in the first step, is four square root of three. Hence, the area of the equilateral triangle is half base, which is four square root of three, multiplied by the altitude or height, which is six, okay? So this becomes two cancels with four to becomes two, two square root of three times six, which is 12 square root of three. Hence, the correct answer is alternative C. I will stop here today. If you have any question, write me a comment and I will gladly reply to your comment. And if you want to interact with me personally, you can contact me via WhatsApp. I'll leave my WhatsApp number at the bottom of the screen. Also, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button. Uh, we transform life with math coaching. See you next time with another problem. Take care. Have a nice day.